guys, Matt from Ultimate City Source. Today I have a little oh, hold on tutorial for you guys. Uh, this requires either SSH or iFile. You can see I'll just be using iFile since it's easier for me. Uh, this is how to make your iPhone 2G especially or 3G or 3GS, or actually any iDevice faster. So let's get started. What this is going to do is it's going to remove the multi language as you can see that come in the thing like in every app and all this does is so if you speak another language it, like as you can see right here it changes it so that it's in that language and if you're like me and you don't use that you can delete all the other ones that you don't use so since I speak English only I'm going to delete everyone that's not English obviously if you speak something other than English don't delete that one and don't worry if you break your iPhone or anything because this is always fixable via a restore through iTunes. So you can see I just have to go through here real quick and delete some of this because sometimes it accidentally undoes it for some reason. And you can just go through here. And by the way, UK is not English, so don't worry about that. So you can see I'm just going to go through here and select all the... Oh, see there it goes. It unselected some of them. You can see it has some problems sometimes, so you might want to use SSH. It's up to you, but if you're doing this on the go, you can just via iFile. Now I'm just hit delete. And you can see it's cleared out. And you're gonna want to do that for this whole folder. Although I already did it to the rest of the folders. And uh it will show up still in your settings as alternative languages. So if you don't want it to show up there, you just go into what is it, preferences. And then you'll find it something called additional languages dot plist, and you can just rename it like I did to additional languages, and then put something like old, and then it will not show up there anymore. So you can see real quick if I go back to my settings. If I go to general, and then international languages, and nothing else will show up. So that's it. Also, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get rid of those files in, I believe, the springboard.app and some of those preferences pane and some of those preference panes. So let me go back to that real quick. System, library, oh, sorry, core services, springboard.app, and there will be a bunch of them. The other thing you can also do you can go into let's see where is it real quick launch dam daemons or whatever. I'll create a separate video on that because there's a way to clear that out too hold on sorry guys there's a carrier oh here it is carrier bundles and then if you're in the US unless you've unlocked your iPhone which many of you probably have you'll probably use AT&T meaning that there will probably be a bunch of other ones here such as I believe Vodafone and Fido, Rogers, all other international carriers, and you can just delete those ones except leave the unknown.bundle as that contains AT&T files. So unless you're on T-Mobile, uh, you can leave that there. If you're on T-Mobile, I don't think it has anything except for T-Mobile like Germany and everything. And also these number ones should correspond with either AT&T or with your uh, SIM card carrier. So just delete any unnecessary ones, and that's really it. Just make sure you go through all these folders and clear out all those unnecessary language packs. And when you do that, you should reboot your phone afterwards, and you should have about, I think, 50 megabytes of RAM free at instant boot. That's what I have. I think I have about 56 when I boot up. Obviously right now it will be, oh, hold on. Oh, there, you can see I have 36. And that's because I'm running a lot of stuff. Yeah, you can see I'm running all the stuff. Let's see if I shut down phone and everything. Have to leave screen flow running. You can see that frees it up to 39. I've already got up to 67 with this though. Uh, with stuff not running. So, that's it. Make sure you stay tuned for more videos like this and subscribe also follow me on twitter at alt source
and link will be in the description for that. So thanks for watching, guys.